Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus and today I will show you how to relock your bootloader. So if you already unlocked your bootloader on your device and you want to lock it back up for as an example warranty reasons, I believe I don't think that it will work. Uh, but for whatever reason you want to relock it, this video will show you how to. Now for this, for this we will need several different programs. So number one we will need the Xiaomi drivers. I can download them from here. Uh, now I will mention right now that the link doesn't actually work at this moment. As you can see, nothing really happens when you click on download. Uh, this should be resolved later on, once the device, uh, once the video is actually posted. And the second thing you will need is the uh, mini ADB and fastboot uh, drivers. Now I already did download them, and I have them in my downloads folder, so that is not it. Quickly go back. There we go. There's the downloads folder. So this is this the android fastboot mini adb drivers and in here you'll have three different files that you need to install now normally i wouldn't really go over the installation of files because it's kind of self-explanatory you press next and install uh, but for instance right here the adb setup and when you tap on tap on it to install it you get a completely different looking installation than you probably are used to. So what you need to do here is, well, it basically asks you a question, do you want to install ADB and Fastboot? And you have the Y and yes, uh, or Y and N. And so it's basically yes or no. So to install, obviously you need to press Y as a yes, you want to install it and then enter. Uh, install ADB system wide. That is completely up to you if you want to have uh, only one user to have this installed or basically everybody on your computer uh, if you have multiple accounts. I'm gonna go Y. Uh, it's installing right now and then it's done. Do you want to install uh, device drivers? Sure, yes, and next and finish. And there we go, it's installed. Now from here we have the Android ADB Fastboot. So this is just a simple installation. You double click on it, press next, next and install. And then second one, uh, basically the same thing as the previous one with a little bit of a difference. Once it's installing, it will give you a pop-up uh, basically regarding uh, drivers for your computer to install. Uh, so this is kind of like, it's gonna look, uh, it's gonna be like a little window with a red banner in there. And basically it's asking you, if, do you want to install it? And you have yes, install it or no, do not install it. Obviously, select that you do want to install it, otherwise this won't work. Now I already have these installed, so I don't need to. And from there, once you have basically all of all those three things installed, we can now open up the, actually not open up, but boot the device into fast boot mode. So you wanna grab your phone, and if it's already turned on, then hold the power key and select power off option. And when the device is off, you want to hold power key and volume down. Now, before you actually do that, uh, I do recommend you to already grab a cable for charging, plug it into your computer and have it ready. And once you have that ready, just keep it to the side. Then, like I said, hold that power key and volume down together. The device will boot into fast boot mode and from there you can connect it to the computer. Now, before I do that, let me actually open up this. Oh, not this, my bad right here. Now this is completely uh, completely just for your visual guidance. Uh, you don't need this at all. Oh, there we go. So once I connect the phone, you should be able to see it. No, never mind. I just boot it out of fast boot mode. Let me reboot it into it. And I'm having problems with connecting the device. There we go. So now it's connected and you can see right now uh, my device is unlocked. Uh, this is like I said, just for visual guidance for you. You completely do not need this at all. This was only used for unlocking. So I'm gonna keep this visible just so you can see it right now. Um, so what we need to do now is open up our command prompt. So press on the Windows key on your keyboard or simply press on the start button and type in uh, cmd this will bring up the command prompt option right here or program right click on it and make sure you run it as admin and from here we're gonna scroll down and we need to 
start typing in a couple different commands. So you can see we have the type in cd slash and enter. Now I will actually copy this for the reason that my keyboard is super small and I don't have to actually forward slash. So I'm gonna do it like this. Now, if you're doing it the, it the same way as I am, as meaning copy it, if you're copying this so you don't have to type it, which you are totally free to do so, you will also need to open up Notepad because as you will see, when you paste it in, it also adds the hard reset.info, uh, basically as a guidance where this was uh, copied from. So you can paste it, then reselect the text that you only want, so CD and slash, and then copy it again. You can do either with the shortcut of Control C or by right clicking on it and selecting copy. And from here, we're gonna go to the command prompt, paste it in, press enter. Then when you type in CD ADB, like this, and again enter. And from here, fastboot devices, enter. It shows us one device, which is this one right over here. And now we're gonna type in fastboot OEM lock. Like so. Enter. Finish total time, uh, 0, 0.00 seconds. That was really fast. Let's see if this will fix it. And yep, there we go. Once you refresh it, you can see that it is now locked. And now that it's locked, uh, last command that we can put in is the fastboot reboot. Like so. Enter, and this will simply boot your device out of fastboot mode. Now additionally, you can also unplug it out of your computer and simply wait for the phone to turn back on. It is now back up to being locked and that's it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.